and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I got a special show for y'all today. And I also have a special guest uh, with me today. And today, we invited Mr. Gary Guidry. He's another captain over here at the Laffey Fire Department on Sea Crew with us. And uh, he's on the south side of town. We're not gonna hold that against him. You know, <laughs> north side guys kind of do it big over here. But uh, we brought a south side guy just to let y'all know, listen, fine and cook fantastic on both sides of town over here, right? We do. That's right, absolutely. absolutely. So today we are making alligator sauce pecan. Oh my God, y'all been waiting for it. Here it is, right? So I got Mr. Garrett to come on here and help us out. We call him GG. So if you hear me say that, reference that throughout the show today, that's what we call him. Uh, GG actually, his parents or your, my dad, your yeah, family, yeah. has a processing plant in the big town of Eunice, Louisiana, and where they process alligator, they process crawfish, uh, they process just about everything right here. So. We got him to come in here and help us out make our show today. So, G, yes, let them know what we got, man. Let them know what we cooking today. All right. Well, we, like uh, Captain Kobe said, we're doing a um, alligator sauce pecan. Yeah, I love it. And um, what we're gonna throw in there, obviously, is we have our onions, our onions, our bell go. peppers, fresh garlic. Yes, sir. At the end, I'm gonna throw in some chopped, some chopped up uh, uh, onion tops. Mm -hmm. um, for our base, we're gonna have Captain Kobe's gonna make us a roux. That's right. And we're gonna have uh, some rotel, tomato sauce, and this is our alligator legs. Now, a lot of people, when you when you talking about alligator, um, what comes to mind is diced up um, ta tail, white meat, dark uh, dark meat, and usually fried. But I really like these alligator legs. This is actually probably my favorite my favorite part of the alligator. Um, they're small, as you can see. When you think of legs, a lot of people think that when you're talking about an alligator leg, they're always big. But these are harvested at four foot. So these actually are some small gators. And these legs are like basically chicken wings. They're just a little bit bigger than chicken wings. And another thing about alligator is it doesn't have its own flavor. It doesn't have a very strong flavor. So whatever you cook it in, it's gonna absorb that flavor. That's so right. if, you, if you're making a great etouffee or a great sauce pecan, whatever type of gravy with alligator, that alligator is gonna soak up all that flavor. It's gonna be delicious. Good point, I'm glad you brought that in. That's fantastic, yeah. yeah. Um, then also we got some uh, smoked sausage from uh, Rods and Church Point. I was raised in Church Point I, and this is the sausage I grew up on. It's my personal favorite, I, I love it. Um, I'm glad you brought that up because I, I, I want to I let the viewers know that over here in South Louisiana, Lafayette is kind of the hub city, right? Kind of the heart of Acadiana where the Cajuns are. We're kind of the big city around a bunch of little towns and cities around here. And uh, look, I want to let y'all know something. We got the alligator from Eunice, Louisiana, a very small town. We got the sausage from Church Point, Louisiana, right? Yep. And my addition to this meal is we have some pork tasso. I love tasso. It's going to have to add a little bit of smoke flavor to that. And this is from a, a store called The Best Stop. Probably got some of the best food you ever had over there. And uh, that's in a little town called Scott, Louisiana. All right. So today, most of our meal comes from small towns all around Lafayette. Okay. All right. And I see you got a little extra right there, I man. I did. I brought a little bit of shrimp in there. Um, just to add a little bit of kick to it. I like I, it, I right? think I think it's gonna be a part of deliciousness. I agree. Well, you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it going. All right. All right, listen, we got a lot of cutting to do. So uh, I'm gonna let Gigi start cutting and I'm gonna make us a quick roux and we're gonna get everything ready to roll, babe. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm getting hungry myself, no, that's what I'm talking as about. you can tell. <laughs> alligator legs you want to cut right down the joint right down the joint right here um, sometimes it's a little hard so sometimes you have to split the leg open a little bit further to find where that, that cartilage is and you can cut right through it and we just cut them in half like this okay Gigi is cutting everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this roux. We don't need a big one, we need a small one today, so we're gonna make a quick one. 
small one. It don't have to be super dark like I like it, but uh, it's still gonna be good anyway. All right, everybody knows Captain Kobe likes this coconut oil right there. So we're just gonna dump this in one cup. You see, I just kind of mash everything in there to get a pretty accurate measurement. All right. I got everything cut up and now it's time to put that magic ingredient in there. Listen, let me tell you something. We forgot to say that I can't even believe Captain Cobra forgot to say uh, the most important thing that we need to cook all of this stuff, right? Captain Cobra's season. Captain Cobra's Cajun season, man. Listen, Absolutely. it's fantastic. Gee. It is. It is. I, unbelievable. Look, I don't want to brag on the stuff. I do kind of like to brag on myself a little bit, but honestly, this it, it's truly phenomenal. It goes on just about everything. People call me. They put it on popcorn. They put it on kind of crazy things. Everything. So, it I love good it. On it does go good on everything. Right? All right, yeah. show me what you got. Man. We are gonna uh, we we're gonna uh, use our mustard as a binder for these alligator legs. That's right, baby. Mustard. Mustard. You cannot go wrong. Love it. Don't be I scared of mustard. Love it. All right, let me have to season it. Okay, you, you do that. that. All right. And you know, Captain Cobra has to come with it a little bit. You know what? Oh, I smelled it already. We're gonna come with a little bit more, cause Absolutely. you know that's how we do it. I tell you what, we can, we can take this right on over to those shrimp also. All right. My hands are a little bit dirty. Can I got you. Throw a little mustard in there too. I'm gonna give you a little bump. Not too too much. Thank you, sir. I don't want to take that. Now it's time to get everything popping. All right. Yeah. All right. In this room, we don't have to make it quite so dark because we're putting it with some tomato sauce, right? So you don't have to have that dark roux to make your to make your gravy darker. The tomato sauce is going to take care of that. So when you're making a sauce pico and you, and you make your roux, you don't have to kind of you know work hard over that thing and, and try to get it as dark as you want. So we're going to go a little bit darker than this. Cause I, I just like it a little bit darker than the peanut butter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting a little bit of oil in, oil in the pot. The pot's heating up, getting it ready. G, you like that coconut oil? I do like coconut oil. I like it too, man. It, it burns so clean. It it's burns good. clean. Tastes great. It don't get rancid like that right. other grease. I love um, it. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on the outside of these alligator legs to help them brown up a little bit. Cause that's a that's a really light meat and it it doesn't brown the greatest without a little bit of help from a flour. I gotta switch hands. When it comes to uh, the flour itself, you don't have to measure. I mean. All we're looking for is just dusting the outside real good um, with a, a, a light coating, and that'll be good enough. It's just to get it brown inside that pot. Let's see if our, uh, our grease is hot enough to start. Oh yeah, it's starting to get a little silver. So we're gonna start browning this alligator up. All right, as you can see, our roux is ready. It's about as dark as you want it. Don't have to be that dark. 
It's a good little roux right here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and take some of these onion and bell peppers, put that on there and stop that cooking process. We kind of want to cool it a little bit. So I'm gonna rob some of your, so you know, oh, yeah. vegetables there, yeah. All right, our fire is turned off. Let's put a little bit more in there. All right. Our fire is turned off, and we're just gonna let this cook. And what you do, you get your onions cooked down a little bit. And it helps you. And you're making your sauce fine. All right. so let's see what our, what our browning process is looking like. Okay, I can. I'm gonna go a little bit, a little bit longer than that, a little bit darker. Um, and I'm browning this on the medium heat. I don't want it too, to be too too hot. I don't want the meat to start sticking to the pot. Just want to get it nice and brown. Get a good little sear on there, right? Get a good little sear, right. All right. I like the way that, uh, I like the way you're delicate with that. Yeah, Me, I'd have, been, I'd have been sloshing what? that around over a spoon, man. That's kind of how I do it. Well, it Sometimes I start using the tongs and it, kind of mess it's with It's kind it. of a, a tender meat, so if it starts sticking too hard and you start scraping, then you kind yeah, of right. start That's leaving right. leaving the meat on the bottom of the pot, which I really don't It'll want. It'll come out in the gravy. Oh, it's, oh, it's definitely come out in the gravy, for sure. But I like to, I like to uh, cook these alligator legs tender enough to where they basically slides, oh, right, oh, slides oh. right off the bones and you eat like a chicken wing. Just, Right. Well, like, like, like you said earlier, a lot of people just focus on the tail meat, right? But the leg meat is kind of almost starting to be a delicacy around here. You see a lot of that fried leg uh, as appetizer, some of the restaurants around yeah. here, other than always just the tail meat. And they are, they are delicious. They're fried, delicious. And I, I like I like the uh, legs with the bones, just like you're going to get a ribeye, a bone-in ribeye. My right. opinion is the best. Same thing, gumbo, gumbo and your chicken and gumbo, gumbo. That's right. You got to get that. I you think need it that makes a better, a, a, a better taste than uh, meat. So, the same applies with these alligator legs. Well, G, listen. Yes. I want to uh, thank you for coming today. Absolutely. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, I see that you uh, you're not in proper attire. No. No. Listen, you need to be... Yeah, oh, we can't oh, oh, oh. you cook your t-shirt right there, man. You know what? That's perfect, because I'm getting a little warm in here. No, there you go, it'll be perfect. It's time to change out. There you go, let's see it happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See how it fits. You got it back. Backwards? Yeah, you're back. See, listen. The guys from the, from the south side of town, man, they don't, they don't get it. I got to get the farming right. Oh, boy. Oh, this is nice. There you go. Yeah, I'm Look at that, huh? Thank you very much. You got it, bro. Thank you for coming. I'm having a blast. All right. Our roux ready. And uh, as you can see, we made a small roux, right? Maybe two spoonfuls of roux right here. You don't need a lot. We'll probably only really use maybe one, one and a half spoons of the roux. You don't need a lot of roux when you're making sauce pecan. You don't want that taste to really kind of overtake it like a gumbo or a stew just want to enhance it a little bit okay so you don't need a very big root when you make this listen I, I want people to realize uh, not just farming here in Lafayette or in Louisiana farming all over the country you can cook I'm friends with some guys on uh, Instagram pictogram and uh, guys throw down on some pretty fancy foods right? I'm friends with those guys they throw down so farming listen I think if farming ever invite you to eat I would take them up on that I think you um, never go wrong. Them almost fire would have a reputation to uphold that. Absolutely, it's, all, it's automatically um, accepted that fireman can cook. And so well, we, have, we have to hold it. And, and I think that, like I said, here in South Louisiana, you learn from your parents, your grandparents. Uh, my, my cooking skills got so much broadened and, and, and got so much better about just from my captains and my chiefs and even some of the younger firemen, they, they cook. I, hey, I like the way you make that. I want to yep. learn how to yep. do it. You kind of change your cooking styles of that. So I want to pass that down to some of these younger guys. I got a new fireman and uh, you got to get him right. <laughs> it takes time. We all learn from somewhere, you know. Right. If you were to ask my wife about the first rice and gravy I ever cooked, 
laugh. Y'all just, I just <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how that goes, right? That's exactly right. It, it ended up being just a little bit, a little bit darker than water uh, gravy. It wasn't that good. But look at us now, right? Now? Champs, champions. <laughs> That's it. Right. All right. Listen, I want to show y'all something right quick. Like, see this sear that that uh, GG has on these uh, alligator legs right here. Not only is that gonna make it fantastic. Look right here. We're getting a little bit of browning right here where this is gonna stick. So what we're gonna do with this right here? We're gonna scrape that up. It's gonna make a gravy. That's your flavors. That's the things that's gonna enhance all these flavors that come together. Like the roux, the tomato sauce, plus what we're making right here. That's what makes it, that's what makes it phenomenal, right? So listen, don't freak out if it sticks a little bit, like this one's starting to stick, just get it flipped up, move it a little bit, it's okay. You kinda want these greenies right here at the bottom of this pot. That's what's gonna make the flavor for you. Let's start pulling these out. Yeah. And then in with the sausage and chasso. Beautiful. And I'm gonna move with the top. We took all that at the same time. And we're gonna get this fried down pretty good. I'm gonna sweat this sausage. Let me help you out. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna sweat that sausage, kind of fry it down along with that taco. I'm safe. <laughs> Now that uh, we have this sausage and tasso actually fried down real nice, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull them out. That way I can throw my onions and bell peppers in here and start scraping this this great stuff. Yeah, when you get them green meat right there, you put them onions in. When the onions sweat like that, it, it makes it easy for you to uh, to scratch that pot. That's, That's where right. that flavor is, right? That's where it is. Listen, at. your seasonings on there, the flavor from the sausage, the tasso, the, the alligator, all that's in here. So when you're gonna put that all together, Especially with the onions and bell peppers in there too. Oh my God, I love it. And garlic, right? And garlic. That's right, you gotta add a garlic. Now we're gonna make some magic happen. Onions, mm -hmm. bell peppers, mm -hmm. garlic. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start frying this down. You don't like my candle? <laughs> it's a little off. Listen, you. we can open up the back of a pickup truck if we need to with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and throw in a little rotel in there also. Get that, get that cooking down. And that moisture that we just added with the rotel, it's gonna, it's gonna speed up the break, uh, breakdown process of these onions, help everything sweat down. Then start pulling everything off the bottom of the pot as you can see right here. It's already clean, got a little bit more to go. Let that sit. All right, now that these onions, bell peppers, and all these vegetables are oh, cooked down really well, we're gonna start adding in our roux and the rest of our tomato sauce and start making the sauce be So I'll put in a little bit of roux, our gravy. Well, I'm gonna I'm go ahead, I'm gonna start out with two cans of tomato sauce. And add a little bit of water. looking pretty good right there buddy I, I think so all right so this been cooking about 30 minutes all right I either like my roux to cook at least an hour um, what we're gonna do is we just checking it right now we're gonna let this cook down for at least another 30 minutes I like my roux to come together with the with the uh, tomato gravy make everything blend together and once that's all cooked out and all them little green meats from that roux is out we're gonna go ahead and add our sausage alligator and tasso in there, right? All right, we'll see you back in about 30 minutes. All right, this thing been cooking an hour. 
Uh, I'm adamant about that, about my root cooker for an hour. So, uh, with that being said, you ready? I'm ready. Listen, this already tastes good. Just with the green meats we got out of there, I can only imagine how that's gonna be when we put this sausage and tasso and alligator in there together. Absolutely. You ready, brother? Yep. Let's see what we look like. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you see how that browned up a little bit? Okay, now you have a little bit more kind of, we kind of uh, we, what we call a rusty gravy, right? More than a, a red gravy. So let's get all this put there and there together. Right. Sausage, tassel. Yeah, I like it. I'm put this down, this thing's heavy. And we'll come in with that gear. Come on, put that gear in there, baby. And look, we all know, I like to get all that. Bring that back over here, G. There you go. Add a little bit of water to that. Ooh. Oh my God. All right. We're gonna let this go. I'm gonna say about four to five minutes. We'll come check it. I'm gonna go drop our shrimp in there last minute. Okay. Man, I'm ready. I am. I am starving. I'm ready to eat that thing. Looks so good, right? I'm ready to eat, brother. I know my job. I'm ready to eat. I think the only thing he's missing is rice. That's right. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Listen, this thing smells so good in this apparatus room. I'm here to tell you. Let's see what we got. Oh, that thing looks good. Huh? Water's coming together. Yeah, it looks great. I think it's time for a taste test, though. Taste test? Hey, yeah. Yeah. I'm the man for that. Okay. Let's go. Let's see, let's see what we need. Give me, give me a little bit more. Yeah. Little, little Let me thicken it up a little bit. So listen, let me tell y'all a little trick to in your taste test. If you taste it hot right out of the pot like that, what it tends to do is it, 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 it kind of cheats you to say, hey, yeah, it's peppered enough or it has enough seasoning in it. And then when it cools off, you're like, man, it, it don't have no seasoning. So what you do is you let this cool off a little bit and it's gonna give you a true taste of how much seasoning you have in there or if you need more seasoning or whatever you have. But if you taste it hot, kind of right out of the pot like that, it don't give you what you really want. All now, right? Also, if you look, it is a little bit thick. It's, it's quite thick. And I, right. I, I'm doing that kind of on purpose because once we throw that shrimp in there, that shrimp's gonna release its water and it's, and it's gonna make this a, li a little bit more. Uh, yeah, loosen it up a little bit. Loosen right. it up some. So it is a little thick on now, but once we add that shrimp in. Be right on time, baby. Yeah. So look, we've been going about 45 minutes. We're gonna taste test it, see where we at, see what we got. Think so. I think we'll be back in about uh, two, three minutes. All right, here comes the magic. We'll see what's happening right now. Yeah, it's good. Flavor's good. Flavor's good, but guess what we need? That's right, we need some Captain Cobra. We Captain need Cobra's. a little bit. That's right, just on the back side, it's good. Okay. Don't be scared, baby. Come with it. Yeah? Perfect. Oh. We're gonna taste it again in a little bit. We'll let that cook down. We'll put our shrimp in there. And we actually season our shrimp too, so once that seasoning goes in there, I think it's gonna help us out a little bit. All right, look, just did our second taste test. We got this thing pretty much where we want it. Uh, shrimp time, baby. Time for the shrimp. That's right. The shrimp don't take that long. Cook down. I'm gonna let this run about a, about a good 15, 20 minutes at least in there. Let that absorb those flavors of that shrimp. Okay? Okay. And, uh, our final touch, our finishing touch is gonna to be this uh, green onions that we put on top. I like to cut them kind of fine. And then, uh, we're learning how to make our food pretty too. I mean, we, we really just cooks, we're not them fancy chefs, but we can fake it till we make it. That's it. Okay. All right, everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to tell y'all, y'all don't even know. My God, this is unbelievable. Uh, we just took one of those legs out and uh, hopefully we show it a little bit later. 
me just falling off the bone. It is unbelievable. We took that for bone. Yeah, we got the bone there. That's about it. <laughs> so what we want to do right here is put our finishing touches on there. We let Gigi handle that. And uh, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of green onions on the top of that. Yeah. Just to kind of give it that little bit of flavor. Perfect. All right. I'm going to stir this evenly. And uh, time to fix our plate. I think so. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready Let's to get it. Myself. Let's get it. Well, is that time, guys? Yeah. <laughs> We're about to really find out. <laughs> the sausage, shrimp, put an alligator leg. And some sides. Corn in a bread. Like it's gonna be all right. I'm you did not dig on the rice, but yeah. I'm telling you right now, it's that good. I'm coming with it today. All right, everybody, look, it's go time. I cheated, I tasted it. It is phenomenal, it's unbelievable. Gene, you tasted it? I did. Pretty good. It came I'm up phenomenal. It's it look, it's awesome. Uh, man, y'all really gotta try this. I don't know if y'all get your hands on some alligator, but you really gotta try this. This is this is truly, no words for me, it's unbelievable. Just staying right here, or oh, Justin as our honorary pot stirrer for the day. Just. This is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Tell them, babe, I like it, brother. <laughs> Listen, you heard it from everybody out here. Truly phenomenal. Hey, look, try this. Cook this. Unbelievable. Keep cooking and we'll see y'all in the kitchen.